What is going on today guys? My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be going over my recently acquired uh, Tag Heuer Aqua Racer Caliber 5 Diver's Watch. This is the first uh, Diver's Watch I've ever owned and this is the first Tag Heuer uh, watch I've ever owned as well. I'm just going to be going over a few things about the watch so far if i've had any issues with it or you know just my overall review of this watch um i know this watch brand tag hoyer it's got it's got a lot of bad feedback i know some people hate this company and i can i can kind of see why um not with the watch i've had no issues with the watch but there's there's one thing specific um which i didn't know until I had purchased the watch that kind of was like, ugh, um, that's not good. And for the price of this watch, you would think they would have a better better way of preventing this, I guess. But um, I'll get into that later. So this is a discontinued model. The, the Aqua Racer is still being made, but this specific model, uh, it has been discontinued. The model number is a WAY211C.BA0928. Um, if you type that model number in, it'll show on Tag Hoyer's website that it's been discontinued. Uh, this watch has a blue dial and a blue bezel. Um, it's a 41 millimeter uh size and uh fits me very well um i don't have any issues with it and uh yeah no overall it's it's a very nice watch it's very smooth um i this this isn't brand new uh, i did buy this watch used i believe i'm the third owner of this watch um so i mean yeah the bracelet's got some scratches on it um let's see here the clasp has got some scratches on it, but I mean that's stuff that's just normal normal wear for a watch, and uh, you know it's just it's been worn, so that's to be expected. Um, but I, I have no major complaints with this watch at all. Everything functions as it should. Um, it's very smooth on the bezel here. Um, yeah, it's it's very smooth. I'm filming this on my phone. I don't do this very often, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, like I said, I'm not the best at this. So um, so I'm going to get into real quick, and this is an automatic watch. Um, it's mechanical, um, so there's there's no battery. It's not quartz. It, it is automatic, um, so I, I do like that. Um, the, uh, the one thing I didn't like about this watch, or I wish that it was more specific was when I was trying to figure out which one I wanted, I, I was looking at the same watch. It was the same watch as this. It looked exactly the same. It said caliber 5, 300 meters slash 1,000 foot. And I'm like, man, why is there a $1,000 price difference? Well, the $1,000 price difference, and there was only one, one number difference in the model number. One was quartz, and one was mechanical. So... If you're new to Tag Heuer like I am, um, you know, just just keep that in mind. If you're seeing like a thousand dollar price difference, it's because more than likely one is a quartz and one is mechanical. So just just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, overall, it's it's very nice. Let me undo this here, and uh, let's see here. You can. I'm gonna try and do this. Um, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's got the, there's the model. Let me see here. The model number. Yeah, it's, you may not be able to see it, but there it is. It's really tough to see with the light in this phone, but, um, but yeah, overall though, um, it's definitely a nice watch. I, I have no complaints with it. So what I do have a complaint with and this is more so with Tag Heuer than it is this watch. Is there, I guess, is a ton of fakes of these watches out there. And 
like I bought this watch used and it didn't come with any paperwork. It didn't come with the box. And I didn't think that was a big deal, you know, whatever. It wasn't until after I got the watch and um, I started doing more research, which I should have done before I bought it. It's like, holy crap, there's a ton of fakes of these watches, especially the Aqua Racer. And they they have a way you can get on Tag Heuer's website and you can type in your model number, or I'm sorry, your serial number, and to see if it's got any warranty information. But the bad thing too, though, is if your watch wasn't sold to a authorized dealer, it doesn't come with a it won't come with a warranty. That doesn't mean that the watch is fake. It just didn't come with a warranty. So like this watch, I typed in the the serial number, and it says result not found. And that doesn't mean that this watch is fake. It may just have been sold on the gray market. Um, so, and really the only way that you can know if this watch is real is if you take it or you send it. You got to send it to Tag Heuer, and then they disassemble the whole watch, and then they tell you, oh, it's it's real or it's fake. And and then on top of that, because they're going to take the watch apart, because I, I called them and asked them this, they go ahead and just rebuild the whole watch. It don't matter if the watch is... 10 weeks old or if it's 10 years old they they just go ahead and tear into it they they you know rebuild the whole watch in a sense and i understand you know if they got to tear it apart to see if it's real but i mean if that watch doesn't need rebuilt i mean why not just put the same parts in it re-lube everything and and say it's good to go um so be extremely careful when you're buying these because these aren't cheap watches. This is the most expensive watch I've ever bought, and uh, and like I said, it's 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 a it's a shame that they don't have a better system or something in place to know if these watches are you know legitimate or not. You you really don't know unless you send it to them. I think it's legitimate. Um, the emblem looks to be straight. It looks to be cut even and everything. Everything looks to be nice, in my opinion. Uh, nothing looks uneven or anything. I like the, the sight glass, like the, the number, like the 26th. It, it lines up evenly. I don't see any reflections or anything in the sight glass. That's good. And like I said, the bezel here... Um, it's, it's real smooth. Um, the, the loom, the loom looks like to me, or I'm, I'm yeah, I'm sorry. The, I think that's the pip. Um, but it, it looks to be real. And when I, uh, shine a light on it and turn the lights out, it's, it lights up blue. There's a little bit of green, but for the most part, it's blue. So that's a good sign. Um, and then, oh, and then the the lens is crystal. Um, a cheap way uh, to know if this is glass, crystal, or what it is, uh, I just took like a drop, I took some water, and I just put it on the lens here, and it puddled up. And I guess that means that it's crystal, where if it's glass, the water would have just ran off. So, um, that's good signs. And then, the uh, the action or the movement of the watch, it's really smooth. Um, like when I'm turning the crown and everything, it's it's really smooth. I can't even tell. And there's no backlash. It's hard with me. Um, it's hard to show with me just doing this with a, a foam, but there's no backlash at all. I'm moving the whole watch. There's no backlash on this uh, on this bezel here. So. Um, so I, I think it's legitimate and, you know, the, the, the links here are all individual. They've, they've been individually put in. It's not like a solid bracelet, so to speak. They, they're, they're separate, which is, which it should be for this expensive of a watch. Um, it's got separate links. They've been put in individually, so... So yeah, I I think it's real, but you know, unless I send it out, that's the only way I'm ever gonna know if it's real. But um, 
So just do your homework. And, and another thing too, guys, just because it comes with paperwork doesn't mean that it's real. Um, you know, if you type in your serial number on their website, your the watch uh, a watch might pop up. It may not be the watch that you bought. That I guess these freaking uh, these con artists they freaking take like a, a a real tag Hoyer serial number and they'll put it on a fake watch, and then when you type that watch in, it it may come up as a completely different model and. Uh, so it's it's really a shame. It's really it's it's bizarre that they can fake these watches that good. Um, you would think there would be something better out there or a better system to prevent this, but um, eh, I don't know. But other than that, I, I have no complaints with this watch. It's a very nice watch. Um, you know, I, I I have no complaints. I don't regret buying it, and uh, like I said, it's got some scratches. It's it's definitely been worn, but for the most part, you know, everything up top looks to be in pretty good shape and functions good. Um, but I like I said, I can see why people don't like this company. Like I said, I'm pretty disappointed. You know, as long as they've been around, you would think they would have some better system of preventing these watches from being faked. And, and that way your average person knows, okay, yep, this is real. Um, without having to send it to them and they have to go through it and God only knows how expensive that would be for them to rebuild the watch in a sense, you know? I mean, this watch brand new was $2,700. So how much would it be to rebuild it? I mean, $500, 1000 I mean, I, I don't know. So um, for now, since I just bought it, I'm just going to run with it and, uh, you know, everything looks to be good to me. So if you you know if there's anybody watching this video that has you know experience with tag hoyers, um, I understand a video doesn't always do its justice, but um, you know let me got, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this watch is real? Do you think it's fake? You know well, what what do you guys think? Um, and let me know. I mean, do you guys like tag hoyer? Do you guys not like tag hoyer? If you have you had good experience, bad experiences. Um, let me know down in the comments uh, down below what you guys think. But um, if you have any questions, also feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer whatever I can. Uh, I'm not an expert on Tag Hoyer by no means. Like I said, this is the first one I've ever bought. So, um, But yeah, just let me know. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And uh, take it easy. Thanks again.